Hey y'all, my name is Ethan Hallfield. I'm head guide here with Southern Appalachian Anglers. Um, I grew up in a little town called Spruce Pine, North Carolina, about an hour north of Asheville. Um, and I spent most of my younger career learning how to fly fish. That's really something near and dear to my heart. Um, I go up on all these small mountain creeks up here chasing wild trout. And then when I was in college in NC State, I uh, joined their Queensland bass fishing team. That's where I fell in love with the um, the, the sport of bass fishing. Um, it really tuned in my river smallmouth game up here. Uh, in the middle of all that, I got into musky fishing as well, and that's something that's also obsessive in my heart. Um, and any of the other guys will tell you that as well. I'm kind of a little bit musky crazy, um, but you know, I love guiding for all those three species. Um, one of the biggest things with that for me is just teaching new people to the sport. Um, whether it's spin fishing for smallmouth or fly fishing for trout. Um, I get a lot of gratification in myself just going out there and teaching someone and introducing someone who's brand new to fishing um, on their first fish, whatever that might be. Um, and also the conservation aspect as well. One of the biggest things with me is I love teaching people why these places and why these fish are so important to protect. So a few of the favorite trip options that we provide that are, that are just some of my personal favorites to do. Um, definitely the top of my list are musky and smallmouth floats. Um, there's nothing like floating down a river for me and, and targeting fish, that, especially for musky, that are relatively elusive. Um, just that minute, two minutes of just pure adrenaline rush just is, is one of the, it's an indescribable feeling that you can't really experience unless you've, unless you've done it before. And for those of you who have musky fish before, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but floating down a river for smallmouth in the summertime especially, that's, that's nothing really beats that for me. Um, another one of my favorite trip options are backcountry wild trout trips. Um, it's very nostalgic for me because that's what I grew up learning how to do, uh, fishing some of these small creeks and streams around here for wild trout. And if I had to really pick three trips to do for uh, the rest of my guiding career, those would be the three that I'd pick. <laughs> 